After her dad dies, India's uncle Charlie comes to live with her and her mom. India, come and say hello to your uncle Charlie. Unaware of his existence, India suspects Charlie has ulterior motives. What do you want from me? To be friends. But she soon becomes infatuated with him in Stoker. Hi, I'm Aaron. I am Liz. And I'm Salim, and we're here to talk about Stoker, directed by Park Chan-wook, written by actor Wentworth Miller. We've all just seen it. Aaron, why don't you tell us a little bit about it? All right, well, this story is about India Stoker and her mother, Evie Stoker. India's father has just passed away, and on the day of the funeral, her uncle Charlie, who the family has never heard mm -hmm. or seen from, appears. And this is quite an odd film, because mainly because of Uncle Charlie. He has this mystery, and the film really lives and dies by how interesting this mystery is and how intriguing it is as it unfolds. The setup of the story is very slow, intriguing, and you don't really know where it's going. And that's actually my favorite part of the film. That's where you see the directing and the writing performances really shine. I'd say about halfway through the film, twist into something you're not necessarily expecting, and it turns into a film that explores the definition of evil and the transference of evil. Yeah, I think it's different in a good way. Yeah. It slowly reveals information in the beginning, and then it kind of picks up and reveals more and more as time goes by. And it really hooked me with the weird uncle plot. I just, I had no idea what he was doing, why he was there, just that he's creepy and probably doing bad things. <laughs> well, I mean... Well, we don't know. <laughs> well, we don't, we don't know, but we know that there's an air of mystery to this guy. And yes, the very beginning is a little bit slow, but if you pay attention to this film, once you get to the end, it mm -hmm. all makes sense. It's fascinating yeah. by the end. Oh, by the way, did your housekeeper ever get in touch after leaving town so quick? No, she didn't. Strange how people can just disappear on you. Well, this story is highly influenced by Hitchcock's Shadow of a Doubt, uh, except I think it has a little bit of a supernatural twist to it. I almost thought it was a going to be a vampire film, to be honest. And then, then we have all these tropes of insects representing evil characters and insects revolving around characters who have evil tendencies. Not everything makes sense, but right. the fact that it's not cut and dry, to me, makes it a better film than something that's just A, B, C, or something that has so many questions and no answers. The film attempts to define what a woman is in relation to her sexuality, and I think it does it in a very thin way. We have a character who receives shoes every every year as a birthday present, and our 18th birthday she receives high heels, and it's supposed to symbolize her newfound sexuality. And I just think it's an outdated symbol for a woman and her quote-unquote freedom. The part, I agree with you, was a little bit strange, but it wasn't as strange because I associate it more with the character and not necessarily about how a woman sees themselves. And we also have to keep in mind who gave her the hills at the very end of the movie. Mia Wasikowska was our lead India, mm -hmm. and I thought she was quite wonderful. She makes a lot of scowling faces in this one, but she's very compelling, she's very believable, she is weird, and her performance mirrors that, and I think that our director Park Chan-wook probably wanted this kind of a performance, and it works very well. Mia Wasikowska has actually been one of my favorite actresses to come out as of late. She's been very strong in the majority of her films, and I really liked her character because at first you think she's vulnerable and just quiet, but then you realize as the story progresses, that it's actually calculation, that she has a lot of these conflicting ideas and emotions, and she's really just trying to figure it out. Well, let's talk about Matthew Good. He plays Uncle Charlie. Awesome. <laughs> Definitely the best part of the film, in my opinion. I, he's unsettling, he's terrifying, he's creepy. I really don't know what he's going to do or why he's going to do it, and he was extremely committed to his role. I must have been blushing. It was my first time outside with a boy, and I didn't want to be seen by anyone. It was 8.30 when you came home. The Trovatore was playing on PPS. He, he actually petitioned and campaigned to get this role. Well, it's, it's an incredibly difficult role to have. I mean, you don't know much about Matthew Good's character, and he doesn't get to explain a lot about who he is, yet he always has glint in his eye in every scene. I mm -hmm. think for a very difficult role, he did stupendously. And then Nicole Kidman was India's mother, Evie who I personally wasn't very impressed with. I think it might have had to do with the way her character was written. She's just very one-dimensional in terms of her character motivations. Personally speaking, I can't wait to watch life tear you apart. No, I, I agree. She's, she's cold, but it's... Mm, 
I felt like her, her character was not necessary. You could have taken the character out and there would have been a lot of the same kind of storyline and themes. I, I disagree, I you guys. I thought she was wonderful. I thought she, I, as a mother, she had a lot of resentment for her child. That was so interesting to mm -hmm. see a character who was blatantly resentful. Park Chan-wook directed this, who is most famous for directing the Korean movie Old Boy, and there's a lot of the same kind of visual flares in this one. Yeah, this is basically the American Old Boy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it explores the same incest themes that were rampant throughout <laughs> Old Boy. Mm -hmm. Specifically, the visual style is just as dynamic as it was in Old Boy. I think a lot of people look to foreign directors and when they work with American or British actors, they look at and they worry that maybe they're going to lose some of their charm that they mm -hmm. had at an international level. He's Not still strong here. Yeah, his style is very unique. That, I think this was the best part of the film as a whole is the production, the cinematography, the sound design. I loved the sound design, you know, <laughs> oh, me, really? being, me being a sound person and all. Stoker is a very unique film. However, I definitely see an audience for it and it's well made. See it. Stoker was definitely a weird and unsettling movie, but I was captivated by it. I definitely think it's for the art house crowd, but it's a see it. Stoker is indeed a strange movie, but is assisted heavily with some phenomenal acting. See it. Cheers, Cheers guys. guys! Huzzah! Huzzah! To Stokering and Stokers everywhere. Stoker, I hardly know her.